Yo, top of the evening, morning, wherever the hell time you're tuning in. Friday, market's closed. We have a couple of winners. I have not checked the winner yet, but I think somebody nailed it dead on, uh, spot on on the old giveaway here. I'm going to go through just to confirm, so congrats you too, whoever you are, but I think somebody nailed it. Uh, I was busier in a one arm paper hanger with Poison Ivy today, so I didn't check in. But I will do it tonight, so congrats. I'll get with you guys. Um, either I'll email you a code for the gift card, or I can physically mail a gift card to you. Whatever you guys want to do, I don't give a rat's ass. So cool. That was fun. Good guesses. Good job, everyone. Uh, what do we got going today? We got um, some crazy numbers on fines. Um, <laughs> Especially with Citadel. Um, we'll go over that in a minute here, but it's just mind-boggling to me. Okay, 15 years, we've made billions and billions and billions, What they paid about $35 million in fines. Um, that seems like a pretty goddamn uh, fair trade, if you ask me. Plus, nobody's uh, gone to jail or anything like that. So, dude, I mean, we know. Stock market is a rigged shit show. Um, before we get into this, post it about an hour ago. Look who it is. Anonymous. Anonymous message from hedge fund criminal Ken Griffin. We've got to listen to this. citizens of the world. This is a message from Anonymous, for hedge fund criminal Ken Griffin. For years you have worked in the shadows to steal from common people and build your own wealth. Your name was mostly only known to traders and people focused on finance, but in the past year you have been unmasked to the world, as more attention is paid to the criminal cartel of corporate bankers and hedge fund managers who are running the world economy into the ground. You have now become one of the most infamous villains in internet culture, and instead of showing any remorse for your actions or your impact on the world, you have welcomed the role of villain and have taken joy in being recognized as an enemy of the working class. This should not have been a surprise to anyone who was paying attention. You told us exactly who you were all along. During an interview much earlier in your career, you claimed that the rich actually have too little influence in politics. However, you have also spent millions of dollars making campaign contributions to various different politicians over the years, solidifying a strong collection of allies to do your bidding in Washington. Your time is coming to an end. The hedge funds and central banks will be disrupted just like Blockbuster and Kodak. This is probably something that you can see coming, because you are obviously doing everything in your power to prop up the dying system. This was evident in your $2 billion bailout of Melvin Capital, which was on the verge of bankruptcy after illegally shorting the stock for GameStop. There is also widespread suspicion that you were responsible for pulling the plug on GameStop trading while this short selling scheme was being exposed. This was possible because of the fact that your hedge fund Citadel is one of Robinhood's primary sources of income. You buy information from Robinhood about its users which allows you to get an edge on the market. So while retail investors are trading with no fees on Robinhood, the fact that all of their trading information goes to you probably costs them money in the long run when you end up dumping on them with massive sell orders. This is why financial markets cannot be centralized. Centralization is a recipe for corruption because it allows thieves like you to take advantage of their positions to enrich themselves at the expense of everyone else. Luckily we are entering a new era where we have the technology to dethrone the old guard and replace the traditional financial system with a new decentralized alternative that can work for the benefit of everyone. This new system will be made up of thousands, or even millions of different projects that will cooperate to create a decentralized ecosystem of different platforms. Anonymous plans to be a part of this movement with our Ant token, which will operate a decentralized finance platform along with a fully immersive metaverse that will allow for digital ownership. We are Anonymous. We are Legion. Expect us. <laughs> yeah! That is freaky. Tokens, dude. That's pretty frightening. I gotta pop that in. We gotta share that around. Um, that is pretty goddamn outstanding. Right on the one-year anniversary. Good job, Anonymous over there, you savages. That's outstanding. Green today. Green, 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 green. Did the shorts uh, cover? Nope. Did the stock squeeze? But we're green. 97.91. A little bit up after hours for GME, uh, GameStar, or AMC. 
1506. Congrats to the wieners of the contest. And five cents down. Oh, God dang it, before we go, I didn't even look in. We got to check in on Hood. I mean, why wouldn't we? Were they green today? Oh, good for them over there, them fine folks, considering the market was green. What do we got here? God dang it, they gained back a little ripper there. Ten, almost ten percent. That's good. Screw yourself. Okay, where are we at? GME borrow fee going up here. I see. I did see this on uh, IBKR today. It showed 1.5% down to minimal shares at about 150 the last few hours. But the borrow rate is going up. We are thin on shares. And uh, Amsty has seen the short interest about 20.83 or whatever it is, 21%, above 20%. Um, either way, good. Our beloved movie theater. Got banners flying above the gosh dang uh, statues in Los Angeles, California. This is freaking outstanding. What does that say? I'm blind in one eye, can't see out the other. Whatever it says, AMC. We love this stock, I'm assuming, right? Um, so that's badass. Remember, we have the old Super Bowl flyby coming up here in two weeks, two weeks from Sunday. So that's outstanding. Good stuff. Good stuff. Oh, man, speaking of Melvin, bailing out Melvin. Um, these guys are ready to tip. Don't they still owe, uh, didn't uh, Kenny G take back half of the money he owes him? But we're not doing too good, as we've touched on a couple times this week. In the month of January, let alone the last year, they did get some money back. I think Kenny G's seen that, and that's when he took his uh, half of his uh, dough back there and said, whoa. Gabe, Mr. Plotkin, I know you're the, what did he call him? Uh, one of the best uh, traders of his generation, right? So Gabe's not doing too well down there. I think last year GameStop probably sucked the life out of him. We've seen that, what, uh, 10 months ago, rough, yeah, 10 months ago in the uh, hearing. He didn't look too well, looked a little stressed out. I can imagine the last year has been super stressful for Mr. Gabe, right? Gabe Plotkin wasn't sleeping. His bets against, bets against meme stock such as GameStop, GME, up 4.69%, were backfiring, and his losses at his $12.5 billion hedge fund were mounting. Strangers angry about his wagers and bombarding him with threats, messages, and tax. Tax? Holy sheesh. At the worst point in January 2021, a year ago, Melvin Capital was losing more than $1 billion a day as individual investors on online forums such as Reddit band together to push up stock prices, right? Yep, we know that. We were in a terrible position, stared death in the face, Mr. Plotkin told employees in a Zoom meeting last uh, late that month. That was last year's activities. But we made it through. You sure did, sir. But, 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 the damage through was severe. Melvin's loss that month was 54.5%, roughly $6.8 billion, one of the swiftest and steepest declines for a hedge fund since the financial crises of 2008. Um, in the effort of becoming a target, individual investors against Mr. Plotkin adjusted his tactics. The uh, reason I highlighted that is how well is that doing right now, sir? Now that Melvin bets against companies through strategies such as shortening their stocks, it does so in a way that mostly don't trigger requirements to disclose its positions. Of course not. Uh, as we know, they're way the hell down this month. We're not doing too well over there. We're going to keep a close eye on this because this could be a, a big deal here, you guys. I, I really, Back then, a year ago, there was a reason why Kenny bailed him out. We all come to the conclusion and think we know why. But still, not very good over there, Gabe. Sorry, buddy. Uh, back to the AMC theaters. Five weeks in a row. For the fifth weekend, as no ri no wide release open Spider-Man to top box office. I read that kind of ass backwards, bass backwards. Anyway, we've got to keep on the eye on the theaters. We've got to keep an eye on these Q4. When's the earnings coming up? Pretty quick. Well, yeah, I don't know when the hell they're coming, but they're going to be good. Uh, we heard a little rumblings about that. A few tweets that really got me angry. Unusual whales, shout out there, you find Sir. Citadel paid less than $32 million for about 59 market violations over 15 years. Um, I was going to pull up the, the rough math, but I can all we can all take a guess. Over the last 15 years, um, Citadel's grown a lot in that stretch too. But just think of how many billions they've made. B, with a bill... Billions. 
and they're fined a lousy 32 million uh, for about 59 violations. Think about that. I mean, what does that break down to? That probably less than like uh, you or I getting a parking ticket a year, right? Somewhere in there, probably way less than that. I don't know, but that is fricking ridiculous. And then on to another ridiculous ones. Joshua James, shout out, sir. One of the OG Twitter savages from way back when. Market maker Wolverine execution was fined in 2021 for over a million instances where they were marked, they marked shorts as longs. Don't let them gaslight you. They're trying to say that things happen, aren't happening, but they're, there's a paper trail for to prove that you are right. You can click on this right here for your proof of it. That is absolutely insanely ridiculous. Speaking of ridiculous, Joshua James again. Citadel top market makers in number of violations in 2021. Okay. They were fined 13 times in December alone for failure to prevent erroneous orders. Dude, this shit's piling up behind the scenes, you guys. I think a lot more than we really think. And that, is that me hoping? I hope. But this says a lot. This information's available to us here. 13 times in December alone? Wow, man. That sounds crazy. Uh, what do we got here? Ryan Cohen with a tweet. I didn't even know this until I seen this damn tweet. Somebody texted me this here. GameStop, Rise of the Players. Okay? In theaters, and I seen some savages out there watching this. Anyone going to the movies? GameStop, Rise of the Players, the true story of the original Diamond Hands who outplayed Wall Street. Dude, we gotta see this. I don't know how I didn't even know that this... Did anybody else know this? Or am I just the only moron that did not? Anyway, that's great. Um, over here, here it is. The instant docu-rise of the players embrace the heroes of GameStop stock story. The movie gives viewers a seat at the poker table with the regular folks who won big. Dude. i seen somebody showing a screenshot with uh, Roaring Kitty up there. But my God. We gotta see this. How do we get it? On tonight. Okay, you guys, that's it. We made it through the week. Okay, we finished green is good. We got Anonymous out here with the Kenny G. Our stocks are good. We got the damn uh, fee going up. We got AMC Theaters. We got poor old Gabe over there. Spider-Man doing outstanding and a, uh, some shit show right here. This shit pisses me. This right here, they were fine 13 times in December. That's driving me crazy. Okay, shout out to you guys. Um... You guys probably know more than I do. If you Send me a PM in Twitter um, who you think won. I'm going to go through them right now. i seen a couple of um, entries. I make sure that they're not on there twice. I did make sure everything didn't go. I closed it this morning because we don't want anybody to throw a guess in there at 12.59, right? So, long story short, I'll figure out who the winner is. If you think you won, you're probably close. I know one guy said he nailed it, so that's that's super cool. Send me a PM on the Twitter mobile, and we'll figure out how to get you these uh, beautiful gift cards. Okay, guys, go see Spider-Man. Go do something, or just get drunk all weekend and say the hell with it all. But make sure you eat and stay hydrated, okay? All right, love you guys. Talk to you later.